And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, December the 22nd, 2019. It's the birthday of the poet Kenneth Rexroth, 1905 South Bend, Indiana. He was orphaned at the age of 14, expelled from high school not long after, published his first poems when he was 15, hitchhiked around the country, Europe, backpacked in the wilderness, lived in Chicago, taught himself several languages, moved to San Francisco in 1927. He was one of the first to bring Eastern mysticism and ecological awareness into American poetry. Kenneth Rex Roth, who said, I've never understood why I'm considered a member of the avant-garde. I just try to say as simply as I can the simplest and most profound experiences of my life. It was on this day, 1946, that George Bernard Shaw wrote, Christmas is for me simply a nuisance. The mob supports it as a carnival of mendacity, gluttony, and drunkenness. Fifty years ago, I invented a society for the abolition of Christmas. So far, I am the only member. That is all I have to say on the subject. It's the birthday of Puccini. Giacomo Puccini, born in Lucca in Tuscany in 1858. His family had been music directors of the Cathedral of San Martino for two centuries by the time young Giacomo came along. And when he grew up, his first job was cathedral organist. When he was 18, he went to see Verdi's Aida. And that set him down the road to writing his own operas, Madame Butterfly, Tosca, La Boheme, all on the theme of he who has lived for love has died for love. It's the birthday of the poet Edwin Arlington Robinson, born in Head Tide, Maine, 1869, author of Richard Corey and Miniver Cheevy. It was on this date, 1895, Wilhelm Rentgen, a physics professor in Bavaria, took the very first X-ray image of the human body. The image was of his wife's hand. His X-ray used 1,500 times the dosage of radiation used by modern machines, and it took 90 minutes of exposure to get the full effect. It took many years before people made the connection between frequent X-ray exposure and higher rates of cancer. Here's a poem for today by Marianne Corbett, Holiday Concert. Forgive us, we have dragged them into the night in taffeta dresses, in stiff collars and ties, with the wind damp, the sleet raking their cheeks, to school lunchrooms fitted with makeshift stages, where we will sit under bad fluorescent lighting on folding chairs, and they will sing and play. We will watch the first grader with little symbols bending her knees hunched in concentration while neighbors snicker at her ardent face. Forgive us. We will hear the seventh grade boy as his voice finally loses its innocence forever at the unbearable solo moment and know that now for years he will wince at the thought of singing, yet will ache to sing in silence, silence even to the generation to come with its night, its sleet, its hideous lunchroom chairs. Holiday concert of poem by Marianne Corbett from Credo for the Checkout Line in Winter, published by Abel Muse Press, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.